Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing how to find acceleration from the velocity time graph of a moving body. So let's say we have the velocity time graph of a body which is moving with a uniformly increasing velocity and we know it is a straight line inclined to x axis like this. Now suppose we want to find the acceleration of this body whose velocity time graph is given to us. For that let us consider two points which is A and B. Now we want to find what is the acceleration of the body that it has made from point A to point B. Now in order to do that the first step that we will be going through is to find the value of velocity and time at these two points. That is what is the velocity and time at point A and at point B. So in order to do that we need to uh, draw two parallel lines from A and B perpendicular to x axis first in order to find the value of time taken like this. So the perpendicular from A meets the time axis or the x axis at, at a point and the perpendicular from B meets the x axis at another point. So these two points where these two lines touch the x axis give us the value of the time at these two points. So let us say that uh, the time at point A be T1 and the time at point B be T2. Now we have to also find the velocity values at these two points that is A and B. Now in order to do that we will be following a similar procedure but this time we will be drawing perpendiculars from these two points to y axis like this. Now the points where these two perpendicular lines touch the y axis gives us the value of the velocities at these two points. Now let us say we take the velocity at point A be v1 and at point B be v2. So here in this case our acceleration is provided by the formula which is A equals v2 minus v1 divided by t2 minus t1. Now this gives us the value of the slope of this graph essentially. So the value of the slope of the velocity time graph gives us the value of acceleration at that instant. Now we will have to make use of this formula to find out what is the value of acceleration in this case. So let's do that. Now we see that the value of v1 lies in between 10 and 20. So we can uh, write it as 15 meters per second which is v1 equals 15 meters per second. And here similarly v2 value seems to be 35 meters per second from this point. Similarly, the value of T1 is 30 where it touches, where this line touches the x-axis and the value of T2 is 70 seconds where, it, where the line touches the x-axis. So we have written down all these things here. It's time for substituting all the four values into the expression. So the acceleration will be equal to 35 minus 15 divided by 70 minus 30 which yields 20 divided by 40 that is 0 0.5 meters per second square. We must keep in mind the unit of a physical quantity whenever we do the problems of any uh, chapter. So here the unit of acceleration is meters per second square. So we write the unit beside the magnitude of the physical quantity. So here we have wrote 0.5 meters per second square as the value of acceleration. Now let us say we have a velocity time graph which looks something like this. Now we know that it is a velocity time graph which is parallel to x axis. 
Now such a velocity time graph we already know it represents a body which is moving with a constant velocity or a uniform velocity with zero acceleration. So here if we want to find the acceleration we already know that it is zero from the graph but in order to verify that we can try to find out the acceleration here making use of the formula that we have just now discussed. So our formula we already know which we will be applying here. Now let us take two points A and B and in between these two points we will be finding the acceleration. Now in order to find the acceleration we need to find the velocity and time at A and B. We know that uh, the velocity value is not changing which is 30 meters per second throughout. So both the values of velocities that is v1 and v2 will be 30 meters per second. And in order to find the time at those two instants we draw two perpendicular lines par uh, perpendicular to x axis. And these two lines let's say they meet at two points where we get the time which is t1 for a and t2 for b. Now we will be putting the same formula that is v2 minus v1 divided by t2 minus t1 to find the acceleration. So let's do that. So here we see that the velocity value that is v1 and v2 both are 30 meters per second and t2 here is 70 seconds and t1 is 20 seconds here. So on putting all these values we get the answer as 0 finally. So this verifies whatever we have already learned that is this velocity time graph with uh, a graph which is parallel to x axis represents a body which is moving with uniform velocity and its acceleration is 0 which is verified here clearly. So this was how we could find out acceleration from the velocity time graph and I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.